he's full time at linebacker. It's going to be an opportunity for him to grow. He's got to get better at tackling and doing some of the things that our linebackers are actually doing on every down basis. But um, he's shown that he can move around and he's smart, so that's good. You lose your entire starting lineup from the defensive line. How big of a concern is that right now? A big concern. Yeah, it's a it's a big concern. We're trying to put you know the pieces of the puzzle in place at that position. Uh, taking a look at a lot of different guys, trying to get a lot of guys reps, rotating them in to see who can step up and you know compete for a starting position. John, are there who are some of those guys up front that are maybe stand out a little bit more than some of the others? Um, right now, it's it's pretty even. You know, as far as the, the front line goes, you know, um, Jordan Williams is a guy who's got some experience. You got. Um, you know, Danny O'Brien, who came back, you know, had some, some good quality reps for us last year. Latroy uh, has done some, some good things. And then, um, you know, we got Owen Williams, who is the junior college defensive tackle, who's really strong, and he's shown um, that he can hold a point in there and, and do some things physically. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we got uh, Demarie Mixon, you know, who's, who's in. He's, he's a, a true freshman, but he's got good size. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot for those guys right now. They're just kind of finding their way around, but um, we, we just got to keep getting better each and every day. Is there a sense of urgency you can tell with those guys knowing that there's so many snaps and, and you know, starting spots out there that are kind of up for grabs? Between all of them? Yeah, you know, um, I, I wish we had a, a greater sense of urgency than, than what we do overall as a defense. You know, um, right now, you know, there's some new things in. There's a lot of new faces. So they're kind of still feeling their way around. So we got to get through this initial phase of, hey, introductory football 101. This is how we're playing defense so that we can, can move forward and you know really work on our style of play and get better at it. Justin Coleman in the nickel, what do you like from him? What he, does he bring to that position? How's that transition been? He's got, he's got uh, improved size. Um, I like the way that he can run, cover, you know, Two, uh, number two receivers, and uh, you know when when he gets his hands on guys, uh, he's able able to move them out of the you know the stem and of the route and all that. So th those things were really positive. He's going through a learning curve again right now. Obviously, um, moving from corner from an outside guy to now a nickel and inside guy, but uh, he's he's got good knowledge. He's picking up on it pretty pretty quick. I know it's early, but is, he, is that home for him now, or are you starting to see more of some of the other corners? Well, no, it's home for him right now, and then. Um, you know we're moving him around, so we're gonna we're gonna make sure that uh, we can plug him in at a variety of spots. Uh, obviously, corner, you know he's he's completely comfortable with having played it for a full year for us. Uh, so the nickel spot is, is home right now, but we're just gonna you know continue to move him around. John, you guys have a lot of newer faces and stuff, but have any of the kind of red shirt guys or a guy like Jason Carr, the Miller, Vickers, any of those guys kind of taken upon the opportunity? Yeah, you know, um, they're, they're trying, they're, but you know, there's there's not that level of intensity that that we need, you know, from those guys. And, uh, they're young players; they're they're still in their really their first year, and uh, but they they've got to they've got to pick it up, you know. Does that sorry, go ahead? Does that come from them not being on the field, just not knowing what it, what it's like to play on this? Yeah, I think it, I think there's a a lot of it to do with their youth and uh, them continue to try and grow and, and get better, uh, learning football, not just the defense, but now learning offensive sets and splits and things like that. But um, they, they got to pick it up. Who do you think they should come back? Uh, DeAndre Payne. Freshman. Yeah, true freshman. Uh, DeAndre's really smart, obviously. He's, you know, he's a ways off. We've only had four practices, but uh, I like the way he, uh, you know, picks up on things. He, he, he makes mistakes here and there, but for the most part, you can see for a true freshman who just got here in January, he's, he's progressed very well, and, and uh, I, I, I like some of the things that he's doing. How about the other true freshman, Emmanuel Mosley? Emmanuel, yeah. Him? Emmanuel's, you know, he's in there, he's mixing it up, and uh, again, an, another true freshman starting, you know, at uh, that corner in the back end of your defense, but uh, I, like, I like Emmanuel a lot. He's, again, picked up things very well for uh, a true freshman, a guy who's only been here for a few months, and uh, he's just got to continue to get in the weight room and get bigger and stronger. And um, those two guys, uh, uh, I've been pleased with. Do you expect Swafford to stay? I think. Swafford? Yeah. Yep. We need. We got to get some speed. We're trying to get speed on the field. Um, Swaff was, was our nickel last year. We moved 
uh, Justin uh, there, you know, obviously in the spring. So we got we got to find guys that can run in the back end of our defense, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to put the pieces together that gives us the best combination of speed, knowledge, and playmaking ability uh, in the back end. Was John Randolph, do you see anybody picking things up back there as far as uh, taking leadership, getting people where they need to be, that sort of thing? Not to the level I would like. John, you may have already been asked this, but talking about speed, what's it been like to get Kurt Majid back on the field, and, and what have you seen from him physically, and then also from a, a leadership standpoint? Yeah, Kurt's a great leader for us. You know, he, he and AJ kind of tag team, or they kind of feed off each other, and, and uh, I know they're excited to be back out here playing together, and uh, Kurt has done a great job, you know, in that area. Uh, he's still, uh, you know, making his way around. He's not where he needs to be uh, from a fundamental standpoint, from a movement standpoint, but he's a smart young man, and, and uh, I'm glad to see him out there, that's for sure. Have we seen him able to kind of be able to go down to the line and, and add some more speed? In it? Yeah, that, sure yeah, yeah, we're going to definitely, that's Part of the Kurt formula Jensen. that we're what trying to figure out. about Kurt Majid's movement? Is that still him being hampered and trying to no, no, rely not by, on no, knee? Or no, just uh, you know, kind of knocking the rust off. Mm -hmm. He hasn't played you know, full speed in, in quite some time for a full year. And uh, he's just getting his way back into it. But I'm, I'm confident Kurt will be fine.